Okay, first things first, you're going to want to open up Epic Games. Now that that's open, make sure you have Unreal Editor downloaded. If you already have it downloaded, just open it up. Okay, now with this open, you want to go to Island Templates. And for this video, I'll be selecting blank, name whatever you want. Now I'm going to hit Create. And it will take about probably 10 seconds to load in. Now with this open, first thing you're going to want to do is um, change selection mode to landscape mode. Okay, now that you've done that, you make sure that this is on like the grass looking material. And it should be all the same. The settings for on yours should be all the same as these ones here. So I'm going to click create. Okay, there we go. Now it's compiled. Uh, next, grab the or to make an ocean, which is pretty simple. I'm going to want to go back to all in the content browser and search for ocean. Yep, yeah, here we go. Now, I drag in this ocean, and now I've got ourselves like an island looking thing. But the problem is, we've got these this going on, so we're going to go back to landscape select this this little water icon and just simply drag it to the right height also what you can do is just go up so what you can do is go up here and just control hold control to click all of them and hit delete and then you got if you go under here it just should be grass and flowing water now that we've got that, I'm gonna go on and go back to the VK Water Body Ocean. And this, and I can. It's like a little island, and these are the spine points here, which basically, if I move, let me, if I move one here, it'll move the island, and it'll adjust to the shape there. So I can right-click, add spine point on here. You can add spline points on if you right-click any part of this. Yep. Now this has been made. Got ourselves a nice little island shape. We're going to want to head back to landscape mode. Uh, now, we're, now we go to paint. Um, make sure you're on layer. Scroll down. Head to this like sand layer. And back up here you can control the brush type, the tool strength, the brush size, and the brush fall off. So we're going to probably put, keep putting this up bang tool strength I'm gonna put it quite high and then I'm just gonna start painting around the edge it's gonna look bad now but it will look better later so what you can do to move around fast is just hold W and zoom in to move faster and zoom out to move slower so yeah now we've got ourselves a nice little island beach sort of thing but it still looks very bad so what I'm gonna do is go back to sculpt make sure I'm on layer crank up the tool strength and then probably crank up the actually no I'm gonna keep the brush size at about a thousand and just you can just start painting oh that's tool strength needs to go down a lot so you can just start painting around making hills by just holding left click um... make a few hills and make it like a sand dune or something you can't do it too close to the edge because of how the water works but you can always just make your islands bigger by dragging those spline points which once again if you want to make your island a different shape go out of... To go back to selection and head to water body ocean and just you know drag it this way and I'll just make it bigger I'll head back to landscape so these um, hills that I've made are way too steep so I'm gonna smooth them out with the smooth tool and just like that I've got like a hill a bit of a mound got some hills in here it does not look great I'm gonna be honest 
Oh, I just smoothed that out completely. That's it. Yeah, you can you can do a lot better than this, but I'm just showing. For example, and for example, if I wanted to a some buildings in here, I'll just go into the content browser, the ocean, and I'll go like shack. Get to selection. Um, so you got to be in selection, and I can just drag this in, and I can control where it is by moving this, and this one will control the rotation, if I can rotate it around, this one just selects, and that one you can scale, make it all bigger, I think I like this right now, nice little shack. And we can add a lot of other stuff as well, like, say I wanted to have some palm trees, I'll just, it's as simple as just searching in palm tree, uh, palm tree, and dragging and dropping, and you can change rotation, change size, all up here. Uh, drag another one in, drag this one in here, another one here. Can also just drag some rocks in to make it look nicer. Um, yeah, I like that. What other rocks have we got? Rock piles. You just look around for anything. Could also add some normal trees for the green part. I'm not sure how they'll look. Uh, if you've if you're stuck on something currently, just go ahead and comment it in the comment section below because I'll respond to it in with a day. And I can also just add some other smaller decorations, like I could add like a, a little canoe, or like a boat on the, on the side, like a little boat here. Um, rotate it like that if I wanted. You can just customize it as much as you'd like. Uh, you can do a ton of more things in landscape mode. I could. This is the island mainly complete. And if you want to go play it in Fortnite, what you've got to do is just. I would recommend getting a spawn point. A player spawner. That would be what it's called. Player a spawner, spawning where you want, that would be where you spawn in, um, and then to start, up here, launch session, launch session, save all this, Okay, now the session will load and it'll basically open up Fortnite and put you in this like world and you can basically do whatever you want. You can even change stuff in creative and it will update in Unreal Editor. Also, if you have any questions in the comments, I'll be responding to every single comment in the comment section. So, yeah, feel free to comment any questions and thanks for watching.